this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you will annotate the ELA social studies syllabus. So from your playlist, the first thing you should do is come down to number two and where it reads make a copy of the eighth grade ELA social studies syllabus, you will click on that link. From here, you will click on the three dots. I believe they're called the hot dogs and you will click share and export make a copy and here's a copy so before you get started on your work and this is very important because this will be part of your grade you'll go back click on the hot dogs again click rename and click in between of an ELA so that way you don't have to retype ELA Social Studies Virtual Syllabus. So right here you need to type your first and last name. So for example, my first name is Anna, my last name is Wethington. So I would type Anna Wethington ELA slash SS Virtual Syllabus and click Rename. So go on and open your rename document. Turn it with the sideways view, landscape, excuse me, and take a screenshot of the top part, and then take another screenshot which will have the calendar, Lexia, and tearing. All right, so from here, go to your pictures. In your photos, choose edit. Choose markup. Go in and choose a pen color and also choose the yellow highlighter. Please make sure that the highlighter is yellow. We will do some color um, organization. So for when we're just highlighting a document, then you choose yellow. All right, so come up here to the top where it reads eighth grade ELA social, Stud social studies virtual learning syllabus. And go in and highlight that. So daily procedures, you will need to find a quiet space with minimal distractions before you begin your day. Each day before we come on and do our zooms. So please highlight quiet space, minimal distractions. You will need to gather all of your supplies that you will need for class. If at all possible, you need to make sure that your iPad is charged the night before, that you um, have everything that you need, pencil, paper if you need that, um, if you need to get a snack or get something to drink, you need to do that before we get started with Zoom. So a few minutes before your scheduled class time, you need to go on and sign into Zoom and just hang out in the waiting room. Be sure to be in the Zoom waiting room before class begins. I need you to be present for the entire class. Try to avoid any interruptions during our Zoom time. If you do have to leave the Zoom early for whatever reason, um, please email me and let me know what's going on. Class instructions. All cameras should be on during instructional time. I did not do a good job highlighting that. Let me erase that. If there is a specific reason that you are unable to use your camera, please email me before our Zoom class and let me know. All microphones should be muted. Only unmute your microphone when you are adding to class discussion. Um, usually we will use chat for most of our discussions and if someone is talking I will do the unmuting. Um, so mainly we use chat. Make sure that you have your chat open. We will do most of our whole group question answers using the chat option. Also in the morning or like sorry whatever we log on for the first time to zoom i need you to type your first or last name into the chat um, because that is how i will do attendance so attendance will be taken daily while in zoom 
and your attendance will be recorded into PowerSchool. So assignments. And this is quite a bit different from last year, so make sure you pay attention to this, please. All assignments for English Language Arts Social Studies will be listed on the weekly playlist. Assignments will be posted each Friday by 3.30 for the following week. So, for example, next Friday, or this coming up Friday, which is August 24, 21st, by 3.30 I will have posted your assignments for the week beginning August 24th through August 28th. All assignments from the previous week must be turned in Monday by 12.01 a.m. of the following week. Per Craven County Schools expectation, no work will be accepted after the Monday cutoff. And down here, I have your little calendar, which will describe, which give you a visual description of what I'm talking about. So go ahead and click done for this first copy. And now let's start your next copy. Choose mark up here. All right, so right here is your calendar to better describe what I was just telling you about with regards to assignments and when they are due and when they will be available. So for example, um, your assignments for next week, meaning August 24th through the 28th, will be posted on August 21st. All of the assignments from August 17th through the 21st are due by August 24th at 12.01 a.m. The grading for all of week one will be posted and accurate by August 25th. If you have any questions about this, please email me and I'll be happy to explain it. So, Lexia, Lexia completion is a weekly expectation and it will be for an ELA grade. It's a little bit different from last year in that we are going to be grading you on the amount of units that you complete. The expectation is that you will complete at least seven units a week. And lastly, tutoring is available by appointment from three to four. To make an appointment, you will need to email me at anna.weathington at cravingk12.org. So from here, I need you all to click done and click done again. And you will go to the link for the syllabus assignment and post this picture to the syllabus assignment. If you have any questions, as always, please email me.